On the 23rd of February 1965, Stan suffered a massive heart attack and died. His funeral at the Church of the Hills in Forest Lawns, Los Angeles, was a star-studded affair. Stan was laid to rest, looking out over the valley below. But the story of Laurel and Hardy doesn't end there. In Stan's hometown of Ulverston, there's a museum dedicated to their work. Their memory is kept alive by legions of adoring fans throughout the world, who gather regularly to watch old movies and reminisce at the genius that was Laurel and Hardy. Their comedy is timeless, and uh, they are the eternal everyman, um, suffering at the hands of malevolent fate. Um, they are, you know, uh, and they're funny, of course, um, which is a good. Uh, yeah. Laurel and Hardy just encompass everything that's great about comedy, they're fantastic. Laurel and Hardy are easily the, the greatest comedy team that ever lived. I think most of us who have worked in comedy are consistently influenced by the voices of the preceding generations. Even if people haven't been directly influenced by Stan Laurel. They've been influenced by someone who's been influenced by someone who's been influenced by Stan Laurel. I think I'd be Ollie, yeah. I'd be Ollie who was always affronted dignity and everything. I'm always bumping into things and trying to behave as if I meant to do it anyway. I would consider Laurel and Hardy both geniuses. They both contributed to Laurel and Hardy, an institution, and so I would say geniuses, or is it genius I? whatever the plural of genius is, is. is. Shine on, shine on, harvest moon Up in the sky I ain't had no loving since January, April, June or July It's no time, take no time to stay Outdoors and spoon Shine on Shine on harvest moon for me and my girl. Well, next on BBC Two, a celebration of classic MGM film musicals at the BBC Proms. You need to tell me what happened. You need to take me there. I don't know what the master told you to expect. Who is that? Is someone there with you? He's back. You can smell him. I thought you were a ghost. There are no ghosts here. A brand new adaptation of Henry James' The Turn of the Screw. Wednesday at 9 on BBC One. Here on BBC Two, David Tennant takes the lead in the RSC's production of Hamlet. Tonight at five past five. Now though a stirring musical treat from this year's proms, relive the magic of 75 years with MGM.